Stocks are lower today, but still stand to post gains for the first quarter. David Sowerby is a portfolio manager at Loomis Sales, which has $140 billion under management. He joins us now from Troy, Michigan, to wrap up the year-to-date performance of the market. David, welcome back to Bloomberg. Always good to have you on. Mark, good March 31st. Yeah, I hear that. Uh, overall, great for the stock market right now. If you would, you say it's a solid A-. minus. Why? Well, l large cap U.S. domestic stocks up 5% after a very solid 2009. Even better, small cap U.S. stocks up close to 10%. Uh, value stocks comfortably positive, growth stocks as well. The only reason that A- minus doesn't become a straight A was the continuation in the first quarter of what I uh, affectionately refer to as a flood to crud or a run to junk that generally some of the lower quality stocks still paced the market in the first quarter and that's what kept an A minus from being a straight A. David, could I ask you about these ADP numbers today and your reaction? Disappointing? Uh, it, it, it set some hesitation for Friday's all important jobs report and expectations that you could see 180 to as much as 200,000 new jobs created in, in the month of March. So th those are the kind of numbers that at least causes the market to take a breath and a pause after what's been a, a very solid first quarter because if employment does not eventually pick up, personal income will not pick up and we won't see this continued rally in sectors like consumer discretionary. Well, where was the disconnect? Because in our Bloomberg survey, uh, the people we spoke to uh, were uh, anticipating a gain on average of 40,000 and here uh, ADP saying that companies eliminated 23,000 in March. It, it, it's still, I think, a, a question of how closely can we link the ADP numbers to, to the government non-farm payroll number. And I think that still remains to be seen. So you, you take a pause on the ADP number, but really, to me, it's, it's all going to come down to are we going to start to set the table to eventual job growth come Friday's employment number. Uh, David, what were the best first quarter sectors? Uh, uh, industrials top the list. Uh, consumer discretionary, after a very solid 2009, continued a, a, a very healthy gain in the first quarter. And then finally, the financial sector, particularly some of the regional banks, had a, had a solid quarter as well. Those were the three sectors, Mark, that were up double digit. Uh, maybe the one question mark, the one disappointment to me was that tech stocks on average were up about 2% for the quarter. There's a sector that lagged, but I think has the potential to be better in, uh, in Q2 uh, 2010. Well, what happened to techs? Well, one of the reasons is I think expectations were so high going into the quarter. If you surveyed portfolio managers and just listened anecdotally, most investors were probably overweighted in the sector, so perhaps expectations were a bit too high. But nevertheless, when I take a step back and I look at the free cash flow yield on tech stocks being better than 8%, that's high by a historical standard. Margins are still expanding. Global growth rebounding, and we know tech is a sector that benefits from that. I think that'll eventually be a, a positive force for tech stocks over the balance of this year. So at, at least you see some further upside for 20, 2010, but, but not so much for 2011, right? Th th there I think you, you begin to worry about this, this mounting debt, uh, which I think is a concern. Do taxes truly go up in 2011, and, and I think that's good for 2010 because people uh, push their expenditures into 2010 and, and not so much in 2011. That's a worry, but at least over the next nine months, I think we've got another 5 to 8 percent on the upside in the S&P 500. That could lead to a price target of 1250 right. to 1275. And, and in a market, I think that will reward the, the right kind of companies, the right kind of key, free cash flow companies, yeah. which is always a positive uh, element for stock pickers. Uh, David, in our last 45 seconds, uh, how about some of your picks? Who do you like? Sure. Uh, on the tech side, America Online, which has a, a compelling valuation and, and simply is still a show-me stock, is um, corning on the tech side because of 22 percent growth in LCD demand. Uh, consumer still looks attractive to me. A name we've talked about in the past, Fossil, looks uh, compelling. And an indirect play on home building would be Lowe's. And all good follow-ups to um, some good stocks, picks I gave you guys last December, which have outpaced the market, like Sally Beauty and Old Charlie's as examples. All right. David Sowerby, Loomis Sales, joining us from Troy, Michigan. You, David, always good to talk to you. Thank you so much. My pleasure.